Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 5 of Andor and I am really excited to see where this goes. We're, I feel like shit's about to go down very soon. Um, we're about to sneak in uh, to Imperial, you know, Imperial areas and see, see how this is going to go. And I really don't think very many of them are going to escape. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this, let's see how this goes. And I am still praying for Kala's appearance. Please. <gasps> the blue milk isn't something one just turns on and off. I promise to disappoint you. Wow. <laughs> God damn, she's going in. We've seen more of each other when you were flourishing. We were just retired. You're assuming he'll remember you. That's a misstep. And you think he'll talk to you? I know he will. And you know why I call. They have some and serious family issues going on here and I'm in acting and being so prudent about my <laughs> I'm so confused. What is it you'll be asking for? Oh, great. Can't wait to get mad at her husband again. For every time he opens his mouth. Get to your coach. It's out of your way anyway, so what's the point? The point is, we have a schedule. The driver's waiting. I've planned on this and we're going. You're only doing it to show off. Hmm? Why is her family so shitty? I don't get what's happening. Showing off. But that's my point. It's all about you, isn't it? It's always all about you. This is really how you'd like to start today. What is happening? appreciates the support somebody give her a damn hug what the fuck that we can talk clear and achievable outcomes basic facts are standard Hello? i love this guy he's so nerdy <laughs> and he's definitely not neurotypical <laughs> i can say that for sure I mean, honestly, out of everyone, he's the best hope that you've got. Like, they would be r royally fucked if they didn't have him. <gasps> yes, the demon goats! Yes! Oh my god, I want one! They're so fucking cool! Oh! My little goat lover heart is screaming every time. Thank you. The title, I know it doesn't come with extra. You can wear a ball gown if you'd like. Just get this off your I want to see him in a ball gun. I want an imperial ball gun. Just for a plate. Why don't you get a handle on what we're doing here before you start making suggestions? Dude. Why? Why pick sides? Because he's cl he's clearly smarter than all of you. Oh no. Oh, not the ties. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, you're fucked. Holy Jesus. Oh my God. I love the sign to tie fighters. Oh, so beautiful. Kessel, Fondor, targeting consoles from Jakku, proton warheads from base. Oh, all these name drops. Oh, right, though. She is on a mission and she ain't gonna stop. I hope somebody's gonna be around to look after the goats. I know they've just let them free, clearly, but like. Someone needs to protect them. I mean, if they need someone to do the job, I'll do it. Oh my god, they're off. They're, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're on their way. This is so exciting. I needn't tell you how wrong you were about Uncle oh my god, he's still eating his fucking cereal. <laughs> you never felt the little joy. He just wants to tell her to shut the fuck up. I told him how sorry you were. I kind of like this little booth that's just like in the middle of their house. I kind of like it. It's a large enough mistake to be deeply educated. It's a vibe. I heard some of that. Everyone has their own rebellion. And the fellowship is off. <laughs> Don't move. I just 
What the fuck? That scared the shit out of me. There we go. What the fuck? I knew, it. I knew you were lying. I knew it. Oh, lying? What is it? It's a Kyber. Sky Kyber. Move. Put the weapon away. Give him the stone. We can kill each other later. Hey. <laughs> You'd be right with Headed towards the garrison. You're stuck. Move. Tell me, nerdy boy, what do your elf eyes see? I don't know his name, so I'm calling him Nerdy Boy. God, what a jerk, man. Why is everyone in this show assholes? Looking over my shoulder. You knew this. The choice was to what's, him or call it off. what's the difference if he's getting paid for it? He's still helping you. Maybe so. All of you. Move. I don't get why they're so strung up. Like, who got your testicles in a twist? Damn, she looks good again. It's over here. Didn't think you'd be interested. Because you're an asshole. Charge them. Oh. <laughs> Damn, the sass. I'm here for it. What if he like becomes like a bounty hunter or some shit? He's a farmer. Imperial trooper came in, took his land, flooded it. Okay, I guess maybe their reasons are more important for wanting to do this. Win a boat and fill his pocket. Okay, I get it now. Are we gonna get like some fulcrum? Some fulcrum code in here. Cause that'll be sick. I thought you were turning it off. Alright. Those look like pretty big holocrons up on that shelf. I wonder what's inside them. Oh man, what an episode. That was another another good uh, another good episode. Uh I'm still absolutely loving the pace of this. Like it's you're not getting rushed into things. You're not getting pushed like head first into things and then just taken out of it really quickly. Um like they're really taking their time to like explain the story and get you from one point to the next point to the next point and I'm absolutely loving this so far. Um I think Cassian, I'm a lot more interested in Cassian than I, you know, ever have been in the past. Like, he's not really a character that I've been like, oh, I need to know more about him. But now I'm just like, I just, he's just such an interesting character and I love him now. Um, and the whole, like, you know, er like, at first I didn't really kind of grasp why everyone was, like, sort of uh, annoyed by him, like, being paid. But like they said, everyone has their own rebellion. Um... And, you know, his, their, you know, everyone, everyone else is like, has their reasons. They're like, oh yeah, I'm doing this for, you know, because they killed such and such. They did this, they did that. Um, so I get why hearing Cassian saying, oh yeah, I'm just doing this for the money and nothing else sounds a little bit, mm. but we all know that his sister's on his mind. Um, I, I do get a little bit upset though with the, the whole Mom Mothma situation. Like her family is so shitty. Like, what the hell? What the hell is that all about? Like, her husband is irredeemable. Like, that dude is an asshole and I want him gone. Um, I do not like him. I do not... I, I don't... I don't understand him. I mean, it's just a, a typical... Um, no, I'm not going to say that because I'll get roasted in the YouTube comments. Um, if you know, you know. Um, but, like, I just... It's such a difference. After watching Kenobi and seeing, like, Bail Organa and his wife and with Leia as well, like, they're such a loving, happy family. And it's like, that's what you want from a family. Like, they're just so... Like, it. it's so nice. And then you transfer over to this with her, with Mom Mothma and her family, and it's like, the difference between them is just... It's heartbreaking. And she just deserves a hug. And she deserves love. And I would like to give her that because she was fucking slaying so hard in this episode. She looked so good. And her sass levels were on point. Um, speaking of sass levels, uh, Cyril's mother, I think it's, I assume it's his mother. Um, 
God damn, she was going in hard uh, on him, making him feel shit. And he had a lot of patience to just sit there and not be like, bitch, can you shut the fuck up and let me eat my fucking cereal with my blue milk? Please just let me eat my cereal and the Malurons that I think were Malurons that were sitting on the table, which is pretty fucking cool. I love seeing Malurons pop up. Um, I think they were in Boba Fett at one point as well. Um, so yeah, that makes me happy. I think this show is like catering for Rebels fans, like in a very subtle way. Um, and I absolutely love that because Rebels deserve so much more love. Um, and also speaking of Cyril and Rebels, like him sitting there like with that, uh, with his hologram and stuff, like, man, he, that, that gave me Callus vibes. Like when Callus was like sitting on his bed, like I've, I've compared him to Callus, I've, com I've compared him to List, I've compared him to other people, but like just sitting on that bed, um, like, with Kala sitting on his bed and like rethinking everything like what the fuck am I doing kind of thing it's just like I like I like the sort of the the sort of similarities and the parallels to things um but I am intrigued to see where Cyril, Cyril, Cyril goes now um because he is still hung up on Cassian like he's either madly in love with him to stare at his hologram or he's gonna he just wants him gone he's like you know that man's fucked up his life he's ruined everything you know he's blaming him for stuff um so I think it'd be cool to see him become like uh a, like some kind of bounty hunter. I think that'd be sick. Um, I don't think they go. I don't think he would. I don't think they go that direction. Um, maybe he can just join up with Callus and they can be besties for a while. Um, and no, I will not stop bringing up Callus. Okay, I'm, I'm, I want. I'm, I'm manifesting his appearance. Okay, um, that Tie Fighter as well. Holy shit! I just looked over to the side and I saw my Tie Fighter like figure, and I'm like, holy shit. That fucking TIE fighter was terrifying. Um, like, that flew so low to the ground. I was, it, it just, oh my god. The way it just kind of like came over and then disappeared. And then just fucking came out of nowhere and was like, yep, th we're here. We're watching you. We know you're here. Um, TIE fighters will always terrify me. Like, I fucking love them, but they're so intimidating and they do it so well. And they did it so perfectly in this scene as well. Um, with kind of how like sort of calm and quiet the area is around them. Just to have this intimidating like tie fighter just come in great absolutely beautiful i want more of that i need more tie fighters we want more 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 um like we need less of like the I, th I think this show is good because we need like less of like jedi and lightsabers and all that kind of stuff i know that that is star wars but it's not all of star wars and i do like that we're getting a bit of a break from it um like, I know we did get a little bit of a break from it in, you know, some other shows like Mandalorian and Boba Fett, but there still was a lot of very typical, common Star Warsy stuff in here, whereas this show isn't. This show is just very, like, the sort of dark, deep, gritty stuff. Um, none of the whole, like, oh, may the Force be with you, and, you know, oh, the Jedi's gonna come save me. It's just like, no, they're, they're, that, that, that's not how it is, and I like it. I'm here for it. Um, but I'm excited to see where next episode goes. I was expecting this episode to be the one that kind of like goes in ham. Um, but I think that's because I'm used to like fast pacing from like the other episodes. So I'd assume next week is where we're going to start kind of, you know, going in and where the drama is going to happen and people are going to start dying because there's no way that entire group is surviving. I am telling you now. Um, also, I'd like to believe that the two girls there are girlfriends because they they have chemistry they get on well they you know hang out together and all that kind of stuff and then one of the dudes was like yeah don't you know don't look at her she's sharing a blanket after like she walked out with the other girl i don't know their names i need to start learning their names um but like i'm here for them being girlfriends um and i i'm very scared that they're gonna kill them so that's always great um but yeah, I yeah, I, I enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, I'm excited for next week. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you. <laughs>